Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about the formation and structure of sodium chloride. At the end of the video I also discussed how to draw the structure of sodium chloride. Let's go into the topic. Before discussing about the formation and structure of sodium chloride, let us learn what is ionic bond first. So ionic bond is a kind of chemical bond. If you look at the classification of chemical bonds, uh, you can find ionic bond, covalent bond and coordinate bonds are present and ionic bond in particular that connects metal to the non-metal. So if you look at the periodic table, this particular staircase, you can see the this staircase that separates metals from non-metals in the periodic table. So the elements which are marked as grey are metals and the elements which are marked as blue are metalloids. So metalloids are nothing but uh, the elements which have both the property that is metallic as well as non-metallic properties. And the elements which are marked as yellow are considered as non-metals and this particular group that is the 18th group uh, is nothing but the inert gases that do not take part in the reactions. So ionic bond that connects metal to the non-metal. So during the formation of ionic bond you can see that the metal atom loses electron and non-metal atom gains the electron. So complete electron tra transfer takes place during the formation of ionic bond. So some of the typical examples of ionic compounds are sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, uh, calcium oxide and etc. And in this video particularly we are going to discuss about the formation and structure of sodium chloride. Now let us discuss how the ionic bond is formed from its uh, neutral atoms. Consider a neutral metal atom and the metallic property is defined as the tendency of one element to lose its valence electron to become cation. So usually the neutral metal atoms after losing electron or electrons it will become positive that is it forms the cations. On the other hand the non-metallic property is defined as the ability of an element to gain electrons in its valence shell. So non-metal atoms after gaining the electrons it becomes anions. So the electrostatic interaction between these two oppositely charged ions makes the ionic compound. So the bonding force between these two that is the positive and the negative ions are nothing but electrostatic attraction. So now let us uh, see how sodium chloride is formed from the sodium and chlorine atoms. So the atomic number of sodium is given by 11 and its electronic configuration is 2 comma 8 comma 1. If you look at the structure it has one valence shell electron. So during the formation of sodium chloride, it loses that one electron and attain the inert gas configuration. See, after losing that one electron, sodium forms Na plus ions, which is having the electronic configuration 2 comma 8, that is nothing but the inert gas configuration of ion. On the other hand, the atomic number of chlorine is 17, having the electronic configuration of 2 comma 8 comma 7, and it needs one electron to complete its octet. So it will gain an electron to form Cl minus ion, which is having the electronic configuration of 2 comma 8 comma 8. That is not, that is the electronic configuration of the inert gas argon. So during the formation of NaCl, that means the sodium atom loses the valence electron you can see that the valence electron that is lost by sodium atom will be gained by the chlorine atom resulting in the formation of Na plus and Cl minus ions and the electrostatic interaction between these Na plus and the Cl minus ion forms the sodium chloride. So now let us discuss about the structure of sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is nothing but the table salt that we use in our day to day life. It is a crystalline compound and its structure is or it is also called as rock salt. And for an ionic compound the atoms and ions are present in a particular lattice points and that structure the structure of ionic compound can be predicted by means of the radius ratio rule. 
that means the radius of the positive ion to the radius of negative ion will give an idea about the coordination number and the type of voids present in the in an ionic compound so in the case of sodium chloride the radius of na plus ion is 101 picometer and the radius of chloride ion is 181 picometer and the ratio will give that is the radius of na plus ion to the radius of chloride ion will give 0.558 and if you refer the radius ratio rule that is the table you can see that this ratio comes in this region that is in between 0.414 to 0.732 that means the coordination number of coordination number in NaCl will be 6 and it will have octahedral void in its structure. So now let us discuss further about this NaCl structure. Sodium chloride crystal is a face centered cubic closed packed structure. If you look at the, this diagram, this diagram is nothing but the cubic closed packed structure and in an ionic compound the ions are present in a particular lattice point. So, in the case of sodium chloride, the chloride ion occupies the 8 corners as well as the 6 face centers of the cubic lattice. So, if you take a cube, it will have 8 corners. So, this is a, this is a corner like that, you will have 8 corners and there will be 6 faces. And the chloride ion occupies the 8 corners as well as the 6 face centers. So, on the other hand, the sodium ion will occupy the 12 edge centers on the body center of the cube. So, this will be an edge and this portion will be the edge center. So, sodium ion will occupy the 12 edge centers as well as the body center. So, this is the body center and sodium ion will occupy that portion also. So, briefly chloride ion occupies 8 corners of the cube and 6 face centers and sodium ion occupies 12 edge centers and the body center of the cube. So, now we will calculate the contribution of Na plus and Cl minus ion for the one particular unit cell of sodium chloride. First, let us calculate the contribution of chloride ions per unit cell of sodium chloride. As we discussed earlier, the chloride ion occupies the 8 corners as well as the 6 face centers of the cube. So, if you consider a chloride ion in the corner, its contribution for the unit cell will be only 1 by 8 times because a corner will be shared by 8 other unit cells. So, its contribution will be only 1 by 8 to the particular unit cell. So, if you summation sum the all the chloride ion contribution, there are 8 chloride ions in the cubic lattice of sodium chloride. So, if you sum up all the contribution, you will, you will get the total contribution of chloride ions in the corner that is 8 into 1 by 8 equal to 1. So, similarly we have to calculate the contribution of chloride ions in the face center also. So, each face center will be shared by two other unit cell. So, this contribution will be only 1 by 2 times. So, if you sum up all the contribution in the face center, so this will be nothing but 6 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 3. So, the total contribution of chloride ion in the cubic lattice of sodium chloride will be 1 plus 3. So, the 1 is the contribution of chloride ion in the corner and the 3 is the contribution of chloride ion in the face center. So, there are there, there are 4 chloride ions that contributes in the unit cell structure of sodium chloride. So, similarly we will calculate for sodium ion also. So, in the, as we discussed earlier, the sodium ions occupies the 12 edge centers as well as the body center of the cube. So, each edge will be shared by 4 other unit cells. So, its contribution will be 1 by 4 times. You can see that there will be 12 edge, what is it, 12 sodium ions are present in the edge centers. So, the contribution will be 12 into 1 by 4, which is nothing but 3 and this body center you know this body center will never shared by any other unit cell so that contributes fully for the unit cell so the total contribution will be 1 plus 3 that is 3 plus 1 so 3 is for the 12 
sodium ions that are present in the edge centers and one is nothing but the contribution of sodium ion in the body center that makes that will give the total of four so and hence there will be four sodium ions are present in the unit cell of sodium chloride to conclude there will be four na plus ions per unit cells and four cl minus ions per unit cell that makes the electrical neutrality and hence there are four NaCl molecule per unit cell of sodium chloride. Now let us discuss about the coordination number of each ions that means the coordination number of Na plus and Cl minus ions. The coordination number is defined as the total number of ions that surrounds a particular ion of our interest. Suppose if you want to calculate the coordination number of this particular chloride ion, how many sodium ions that surrounds the particular chloride ion has to be calculated. First let us calculate the coordination number of sodium ion. We will take the sodium ion in the body center. We can see that there are six ions that directly bonded to the body centered sodium ions. You can see that six ions that surrounds the sodium ion. So its coordination number is six. That means it forms a octahedral shape. Briefly, we can say that the six chloride ions that makes a octahedral hole in which the sodium ion is present. If you recall the radius ratio rule, the type of void is nothing but we have studied as octahedral. So the six chloride ions create the octahedral void and sodium ions are placed in that. You can find the structure. Suppose if we consider yeah, another sodium ion, if we consider this particular sodium ion, this also will be placed by placed in the octahedral hole formed by six other chloride ions. So we can see that only four chloride ions are present in this particular unit cell. The other two will come from the immediate next unit cells of sodium chloride structure. So you can see that this also forms the octahedral void. So these six chloride ions, uh, chloride ions creates the octahedral void and in which the sodium ion is placed. So similarly, all the sodium ions are placed by means of the octahedral void created by six other chloride ions. Now we will calculate the coordination number of chloride ions. We will consider, we will calculate the coordination number of this particular chloride ion see that it is connected with five sodium ions in this unit cell and the sixth one will come from the body center of the immediate next unit cell of sodium chloride so you can see that it also create forms the octahedral shape you can and the coordination number of chloride ion is also six and hence it is a six is six is to six coordination type that means the coordination number of both sodium ion as well as the chloride ions are 6. Now let us learn how to draw the unit cell structure of sodium chloride. Students often find difficult in drawing the structure of NaCl and if you follow the steps it will be easy to draw the structure of NaCl. First try a perfect square and draw one more square and make it as a cube. So, drawing a cube is not a big deal. So, make a cube. And the next job is to mark the edge center. See, this is the edge. Mark the edge center. Okay. So, this is the edge center. Similarly, this will be the edge center. So, connect these two. And similarly, connect the edge center of the so these two lines will be almost parallel. You can see that this line is parallel to this. This is also parallel to this. Okay, that will be the secret. So now connect these two as well as connect these two. So now a yeah, cube is exactly divided into two halves. So similarly, connect what is it? Connect the centers of these two edges and these two edges and connect the line 
that means a cube is the cube is now divided into four halves now take this edges one two three and four so connect the line that means the now the cube is divided into eight halves okay so now connect the face center see this is the top face center and this is the bottom face center connect these two so similarly this is the face center of the left face and this is the face center of the right face so connect these two similarly connect the front and back face so this is the front face center and this is the back face center so connect these two so now you will end up with a perfect cubic lattice and the next job is to place the ions so as we discussed earlier the chloride ions will occupy the eight corners and the six face centers so eight first let us place the chloride ions in the eight corners you can see that the chloride ions occupy the eight corners and the six face centers you see that this will be the top face you can see the top face which is changing the slight color and it will be occupied that is the top face center will be occupied by the chloride ion and you can see the bottom face that will be occupied by the another chloride ion so the left side face and the center is occupied by the chloride ion so the right side face and the center is occupied by the chloride ion so similarly the front face you can see that the front face is occupied by the chloride ion you can see the back face that is occupied by the chloride ion so eight corners and six face center so now we successfully placed the chloride ions now our next job is to place the chlor uh, sodium ion so sodium ion occupies the 12 edge center so you can see that so this is the edge and each edge center will be placed by the sodium ions so similarly you can see the another edges so these four portions are the another edge centers you can find the four chloride ions now this is the another four set of edges will be occupied by the sodium ion now the center that is the body center this is also occupied by the sodium ion so drawing the structure of sodium chloride is not that much difficult if you practice you can do it thank you so much for listening the video if you have any queries you can reach me out through my mail or you can post your queries in the comment section thank you so much